So there's a lot of interest among professional athletes in particular about the potential medicinal uses of cannabis uh, for the injuries that are you know, not unique to them but common among them. Concussions, strains and sprains, constant pain, particularly after they leave the game or retire. Uh, the, uh, the, the problems with long-term concussions, the so-called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. There's a lot of interest in whether or not medicinal cannabinoids, like marijuana, can contribute to relief from the symptoms associated with those things. The, the bottom line is that we don't know yet. Uh, we don't really have anything that we would, at Jefferson or at any other medical school, consider to be rigorous scientific evidence in this area. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, you know, what this really is is a call to action. We, we need to do studies that are large enough and consistent enough to actually start to answer these questions. It's, it's a question that affects society. It's not just professional athletes that, that end up with these injuries, but you know, they're a high profile group and, and they, uh, you know, we often say that professional athletes pay with their bodies for our entertainment. And it's understandable that they, uh, they want to look at all possible options for treating the problems that they encounter after they've done that. So uh, I, we're very much in favor at the Lambert Center of doing uh, rigorously developed and pursued clinical trials and the use of cannabinoids in addressing things like acute concussion, chronic concussive injuries, uh, chronic neuropathic pain, chronic orthopedic pain. Uh, yeah, there's some suggestions out there that may help, but in fact we don't really know yet.